When it comes to assets that'll help you convert casual readers into customers, your sales page is key. It's your best opportunity and your one-stop shop to direct your leads to find out what you're selling, why you're selling it, and why they need to buy it. That's why we wanted to create this video for you, to teach you how to build an effective sales page of your very own. I'm Angel Marie from ConvertKit, a creator marketing platform that exists to help you earn a living online. Let's get started. To set your sales page up for success, you have to optimize its content for conversions. And leading with these six steps is a great start in that direction. Step one, know your audience. You can't sell your product if you don't know who you're selling to. Step two, create a value proposition for your product or service. Think of this value proposition as your elevator pitch. How do you describe what you're selling? In fact, here's a little formula to help you out that much more. My product or service helps who buy what your product or service does. Let's move on to step three, set up your pricing. Finding that perfect price point for your audience comes from knowing your audience well. What do they historically purchase? What are they currently looking for now? Are they beginners? Are they advanced? Things like that. Step four, create a thoughtful design. The design elements of your sales page should include things like a strong headline, high quality imagery, testimonials, an FAQ section, pricing details, and a call to action, meaning the action you want your sales page viewers to take. All right, let's go ahead and talk about step five, writing captivating copy. Knowing what you want your sales page to look like first will help you know what kind of copy you need, where you need to put it, and how long it should be. Just be mindful to consider these key components as you write that copy. The length of your sales page, think about your audience's attention span and how detailed you want to be. Headlines. On average, 8 out of 10 people will read the headline copy, but only 2 out of 10 will read the rest. That means you've got to write an exciting, informative, and intriguing headline to get someone to read the rest of your sales page. And the body copy. This is the description of your sales page and where you get down to the details of your product or service. Make sure that in your body copy, you really focus on the benefits before the features. Write like you're speaking to a friend and just overall make it easily scannable by breaking paragraphs up, adding bullet points, or bolding your most highlighted points as well. And last but not least, step six, have one call to action. The whole point of your sales page is to get your audience to do one thing, take you up on your offer. To help you reach that goal, you need to keep your CTA clear, simple, and direct. Now here's a few ways that you can have a solid CTA for your sales page. Don't have external links. You don't wanna send your readers anywhere off of your sales page. Have a noticeable CTA button too. That means think about a good color that pops on your page and copy that makes the reader need to click on it. And be sure to use that button multiple times too. It's not likely that a reader will automatically click a buy now button at the top of your page right away. So put your beautiful CTA button at the top, in the middle, the bottom of your sales page, just to give readers as many chances as possible to sign up. Now, if you're looking for a little more direction to help you get your sales page started, you can head to our sales page elements PDF that we created for you. And it's actually linked right in the description down below. Now, once you have clarity on all those steps we just discussed, it's time to actually get that sales page created. Let's walk through what it looks like to set that up using ConvertKit. And guess what? You can literally get started on this for free this very week. Let me show you how. In ConvertKit, you have the ability to create what we call product pages. Now, you're able to customize the product page itself, the checkout, the confirmation, and the email receipt that your customers get in their inbox the minute they purchase. 
You're able to utilize what's called that content block on the product page here if you're looking to add more creative elements like we talked about before. Things like testimonials or body copy, even a quick video to encourage potential customers to click through. These product pages work great to direct people to right away when you're selling ebooks, masterclasses, or paid newsletters. But if you're selling a high ticket offer, like a coaching program or a course, you might want more room to explain what it is and why they should buy it. Now you could use a page on your website to explain that and then link to your ConvertKit product page to a button on that website page as I did here. But you could also use a ConvertKit landing page for this in order to build more of a long form sales page to talk about your high ticket offer. Now to do this, just head to grow, landing pages and forms, create new, and click landing page. From there, click the product category so you can get more specific with the kind of landing page design you're looking for to actually sell something. Now go ahead and preview any of these landing pages just to get a feel for what your audience would experience. And then when you're ready, click the one you like best. From here, you can customize many parts of this landing page. Now, one way you're able to connect the product page that you created in ConvertKit to this landing page is to click on that content block and add a button, change the copy of that button, and link in your product page's link to that button. In this way, when your audience is on this longer form landing page, they can choose to click on that button to purchase your product. Just be mindful that landing pages do exist to collect email addresses, so this form will be in there automatically. Now, remember we talked about the fact that you should try to avoid having more than one call to action. We wanna be careful with that on a sales page, but you can get creative with having more than one if you want to go this route. However, if you'd like to stick with one as we talked about before, you could instead create a landing page for a wait list to your product or service, just as I did on one of my landing pages. Now in this way, I promoted a wait list in a longer format and encouraged people to join the list as my call to action. When people signed up, I would send them information on my product or service to their inbox and link in my product page there. Either way, with ConvertKit's landing page templates and commerce feature, you'll be able to sell and collect payments on your product or service all within this creator marketing platform. And that's it. You can get started today for free by heading to the link in the description down below. We'll see you in the next creator education video. Thanks for watching and keep creating.